guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. The tear with you today. Photo bomb. <laughs> We have so much going on. It's great to be back making videos. We are so busy with the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. It's coming up May 25th. So I've had to kind of pick and choose what we're doing with our time between school and events and the conference and the Tennessee Trail of Tears Association. I think want to first of all say thank you so much to all of you that have been so sweet to me. Um, I was placed and uh, nominated and voted in as um, Vice President of that association, the Tennessee Trail of Tears Association. It's been really busy the past couple of weeks. Do follow us on Facebook and Instagram for updates for sure, especially Facebook. But look here. We've got babies. Lots of babies. We've got new goat babies. We have new chicky babies, and we're going to have more goat babies. And I wanted to update you on how this is going. Now, first and foremost, I want to say I have an old heat lamp, you know, lit up here, okay? And they love it. And yeah, I'm working the barn. But my point here is do not leave these unattended. So I'm in the barn today, this afternoon right now, working. It's, it's a nice breezy fairly warm day but they love this so I'm just letting them have it but I'm in the barn watching okay triple zip tied and everything when it gets dark or we're not here or we leave the barn for a bit we unplug it okay always use your brain when it comes to that so here's the deal miss mama here Bubba has had another set of triplets I know it's loud in here guys welcome to the barn and we've got down here three little sweethearts her due date was March the 20th that's when I had her marked down as her first potential day of having these little troopers and she had them a day early and all three were born and delivered perfectly uh, she had delivered the placenta um, everything as I entered the barn early Tuesday morning which was uh, just two days ago so these babies are just two days old and mama here is enjoying a really nice dinner so let's talk about these babies down here and how we're having success alrighty guys I know it's loud I'm gonna do my the best that I can we have two bucklings and one doling born perfect now the uh, if you're asking who daddy is, that will be Big Moses. We still have him. Uh, he has given us triplets every single time that we have bred him with any of our does. We do believe, we're very confident that Piper uh, will be next. My uh, beautiful black Nubian will be next in having a set of at least, I, she's getting awful big guys, awful big. Okay, she's healthy, okay, she's healthy. But nonetheless, um, so here you have Miss Louise. <laughs> Miss Louise, here is baby Bob. Looky here. Look at those ears. Look here. Is that not to die for? And then we have Bud. <laughs> and he's a little stinker pot. But all three of these babies are born, uh, were born, um, I believe that Louise was born first because she was completely dry when I came in the barn early Tuesday morning. And then Bob was next because he was almost dry. And little Bud here, he was still a little bit wet. So I dried him off. What I did immediately, guys, I didn't film at the time because it was dark. I did a quick live stream with my premium group real quick because I was so excited. But I did take the babies and immediately dip the umbilical cords, check them, check their nostrils. Everybody was thriving. Mama's placenta was already delivered and looked like she might have been nibbling on it. I then proceeded to make sure that Mama had fresh feed with everything that she needs in it. Uh, molasses tea, checked her over. Uh, and made sure immediately within, the, you know, a good 15, 20 minutes that I had seen all three of the babies attempting to nurse. And then I've kept a really big eye on that the past two days. They're all nursing now on their own. Mama's having no trouble with that. She's a wonderful mother. She likes to literally, <laughs> literally, she'll let them sleep like this for a little while. And then she'll come over and she'll start nudging them. 
licking them, cleaning them, nudging them, to get them up to remind them that they need to nurse. She's so attentive uh, to all of them. So this is what we've got going on in here. And of course, she's just got, I just gave her fresh hay right here for her and her fresh feed. And she is getting all kinds of good goodness to eat. And a hen's gonna bother her. Uh, in her feed, she's getting Tennessee Co-op from Tennessee Co-op 348. She's also getting minerals. I'm gonna get her some more here over there in her, her bowl. She's already had hers today, so I just like to make sure she has non-stop minerals. She gets uh, the Sweet Licks Meat Maker uh, minerals, and then I always give my animals kelp. Okay, we've gone over this in multiple videos. Um, they always get kelp. She's also getting Lespedeza. She gets Alpha Alpha. She gets sunflower seeds. Uh, and, and, and fig newtons and <laughs> animal crackers. That's the trick, animal crackers. But she has a healthy appetite. I'm actually feeding her three times a day, uh, heavier morning and, and evening, like right now. And then, so you can see this, this mix right here. And then I give her a little treat in the afternoon because she's a nursing mama and she's got three babies. So we definitely wanna make sure that uh, she's getting plenty to eat. I'm also making sure she keeps two buckets of water. I'm about to trade those out. And let me walk over here. Excuse me, nosy Rosie. Um, I'm making sure that she's uh, got probiotics and all of the above. So, so far, so good. They love this heat lamp. Every time it just settles them down. It's really funny when you watch them nurse. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. They'll be so tired. And then they'll go over and they'll nurse for a little bit. And then they'll zip around in the stall. So they're starting to jump a little bit and be a little busy but right now it was a quiet time you'll watch these babies grow up with us so i thought i would show you our newest addition <laughs> so we are living the good life spring is here all is well we are busy with the conference we have another trailer coming your way with the conference it's huge all veterans, all military are free. We have 20 classes that day, 20 classes, multiple demonstrations, 18th century camp, information booths on so many historic sites in our area. We're gonna be teaching you about goats that day. We're gonna be teaching you about stained glass, pemmican, organic beekeeping, how to make biscuits, baby goats again, all of that. So we appreciate you watching us here at Appalachia's Homestead. We have more videos coming your way. Living the dream. We'll see you on the next video.